Riot for Tyrants is about the very stupid 2020 political election we had and how they're all done. Whatever, Trevor. All right, folks. You're so the clever. Podcast. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Two lonely boys in a canoe. I'm Chris Evans. That's my friend Trevor Alstrom. Yeah, he's Today our guest. We got, we got yeah, the guys Austin here. Trevor, and we got uh, good old Joel. Why don't you let them introduce themselves, man? Fucking Sorry. talking over and talking under. Says the guy. Austin, yeah. Austin, Austin, what's Austin up? Austin Trevor, once again. <laughs> yeah, I'm Joel, Joel Rappaport. Joel, man, it's good to be yeah. here, man. And Thanks you for having us. Hell yeah. And the kitten Ferrari. And the cat. Cat's always present. Doesn't shut up. <laughs> She's quiet now, but... This morning she was meowing. Well, oh, it's the it's the four to four to eight a.m. that I get her. Yeah. <laughs> you know my cat. She's so what's happening, guys? How's Bruna. everything been going? <laughs> oh, it's going good. I just ended up uh, doing a whole big workout today. I've been working out for the past three months. So I right, we're good, man. Doing calisthenics work. instead of doing weights. And it's it's working out. It's you know what bad. you know what gets me sometimes. I still wonder. Where's Richard Simmons these days? <laughs> Where's that dude at? Where's he I actually heard he was in a giant mansion that was so big he was in there for like two years. Richard Simmons probably just got a bunch of money from years ago and he's you know still sitting on it somehow and yeah. parlayed it into a fucking weird life by himself. Do but anyway. One of those weird celebrities like Corey Feldman, they got a bunch of money in the 80s, 90s. And just just still sticking around somewhere sticking around for some reason. I gotta end up watching some of his videos and see if I can put it in my calisthenic workout and see if dude, it actually Richard, works, yeah. man. Richard Simmons was a funny dude, but like, he yeah, got people fit, man. Yeah. Say what you want, man. He's trying to get people off the couch at least. Yeah. <laughs> he made a lot of money doing it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Come on, him, ladies. Him One and, uh, and two and three and who go. Who are those other fucking fitness people, bro? The fucking people that sell you two minute abs or. or oh, uh, you know, all these like. All the YouTube ones. Yeah, or like oh, the dance like core the, people. It was right before YouTube and like internet, so they were still doing like the VHS oh, sales yeah. and, the, and the DVD yeah. sales. It's like, uh, god damn it, the Ty Bo dude. You know who I just <laughs> saw who's putting stuff out? You remember Diamond Dallas Page from yes. WWE? Yeah. Well, he's got Diamond Dallas Page yoga going on. I just <laughs> saw this on fucking And I'm like, dude, holy I would... shit. That's great. That, that is Dallas funny. Page doing yoga. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. The next thing you know, there's going to be gold dust doing Tai Chi. <laughs> <laughs> And you're gonna have like Sting doing synchronized swimming with people. Yeah. His, his fucking makeup's just running. <laughs> the pool. He looks like the ultimate warrior at the end of the match. Hey, and then all of a sudden, like Jake the Snake shows up with a ten foot python to sound oh. over. Oh. <laughs> then there's good old Terry Funk. Well, that's the beginning of the episode, folks. All right, WWE style. Speaking of WWE and silly shit, WWE. I got, a, uh, I got supposedly a letter from uh, President Barack Obama. Trevor got a fucking official letter from the president. It's, it's pretty not fake. stamped or anything. It's pretty it's fake. You know, it's pretty from, fake. It's from okay. President. Uh, it's, it's actually previous president. It's, it's Barack from the Obama Democratic National Committee in Washington D.C. Yeah. Federal. Federal. Dear Trevor, we are running out of time across the country. Voters are casting their ballots in the midterm elections. I know you're aware of how high the stakes are for Joe and Democrats across the country. The upcoming midterm elections could determine what we are able to achieve moving forward. Lose even a few seats in the House of Senate means losing our slum Democratic majority. Uh, Your turn. Let's go. What is going on? I also know... First hand how difficult it can be to make progress with Republican majorities in Congress. Do you now, buddy? In 2010 and 2014 midterms, Democrats lost seats in the House and Senate, and progress Joe and I were fighting for became even harder to achieve. Wow! Oh man! Yeah, everybody, shut up. We are running out of time. Fucking Democrats. Oh, today <laughs> you have an opportunity to to to, 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 to help ensure the same time to, same to, thing to, doesn't to, happen to, this today, election. To, to today. We made that. That why I I, I, it, I uh, it. asking you to Get it. remain an urgent gift to the DNC <laughs> in the next 50, DNC, 16 the, days <laughs> to help Wendell. the D, 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 DNC protect the expand on the Democratic. Majority with the official, with with all critical, we want the nation to keep 
making progress. Good job. All right, Chris, I know you read. You say you don't read. So where, where are we at? at? Progress? I don't even know what this fucking letter is where about. We where are we at? Where are we at, Austin? Oh, Democrats Bro, oh we're just since the day, Joe. Since the day, Joe. Okay, here. This fucking thing got ripped. I don't know what you guys <laughs> did to it in the two seconds and two other news. Since guys. the day, Joe okay. did something. <laughs> okay. Uh, since the day Joe was sworn into our nation as president. I've watched him work timelessly to repair, restore, and heal our country. And I'm sure you are just as proud of him as I am. Democrats helped Joe pass historic pieces of legislation like the American Rescue Plan and the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law. <laughs> but if we're going to continue... This isn't a fucking joke! It's our country! If we're going to continue building a better future for all Americans... And stop those who are determined to put a hold on progress. We must elect more Democrats. Trevor, we've already come so far together. That rhymed. That was nice. But I need you to stand with me. Joe Kamala and the Democratic Party to build on what we have accomplished so far. Your support of the Democratic National Committee today will help to elect Democrats who will fight alongside Joe Biden to move our nation forward. So please, make a generous contribution of contribution of 20, 30, or more to the DNC within the next 15 days. Oh my God, there's more. There's a, this is, <laughs> there's this a, was a bad yeah, idea. And there, we don't more. have to read all of it. That's there fine. So long story short, they're asking for fucking money. Trevor, you gonna send money? Nope. All right, there we go. R-O-C-K <laughs> in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it was funny that everybody did their own little voice. I know. I was trying to fall off the stud with the bomb. I was trying to do Obama's voice, but yeah. I don't really know. You went for the dirty anymore. Bill Clinton. You went for the Bill Clinton voice. Yeah. yeah. That sounded kind of like Biden in a way. I was trying too. to sound like Joe Biden. Yeah. But fucking Joel was right. like me. We both went for like the pro wrestler voice. Not a real fan of Sleepy Joe at all. <laughs> Hey, you know Popcorn. Well, Popcorn's think, a real tough guy. It was so hilarious <laughs> that like there was no other option. It was basically like let Donald Joe. Trump keep going nuts as yeah, fuck, yeah. or you get Grandpa. And everybody was yeah. like, "All right, Grandpa, you're in." And he's like, "I got some stories," and he's just spending a bunch of money and stuff. But people aren't going insane in the fucking streets. So I'll take that insane in the night. membrane. Yeah. Insane in the brain. <laughs> Cops <laughs> trying to take my crops. Pigs are trying to blow my house I'm down. You, those four fucking years while that motherfucker was in office, bro, were the most like. You better watch your back. You don't know what's about to watch. happen type yeah. shit. Some yeah. Wu-Tang Clan better protect your neck. Protect <laughs> Swinging neck. through neighborhood like neighborhood Spider-Man. Like, what's going on right now? I just think it's crazy how politics, like, people really get into politics at a point. Yeah. Like, they just decide that's their thing. Yeah, like, and especially no old people. Like football yeah. teams, man. Especially yeah, old like, people, man. Yeah. Yeah. They got uh, nothing yeah. better to do than to get up early and go yeah. vote for something they don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> they go to IHOP, say racist shit to young guys like us, and then read their, their angry newspaper stuff. <laughs> Life's fun <laughs> that way, Oh, suppose. yeah, they do. Just Trevor, to get, to know, the you gotta get your social justice warriors in there to yeah. make sure if you just don't yeah. give a fuck, well, you're the fucking problem. It's not everybody else. You Everybody's got a problem, man. <laughs> We're all assholes. Everybody. So stop trying to treat people like they're not assholes. Everybody's a piece of shit. If we're all pieces of shit, then that means equality's a real thing. <laughs> 99 problems and Joe Biden ain't one. Is that what we're saying? So for news, I figured the joint would be easier than the bong and the fucking. Well, what is that? Is that indica or sativa in that? It's an indica sativa. It's hybrid. He, uh, he's yeah, an no. indica guy. Mm. Just... Well, he might like this. It's more of an indica. It's a it's a heavier. Can you eye. can you do a indica dominant? Is that fine? Give it a try. See if you like it. If you don't, you don't have some. If your pants disappear and you start doing calisthenics, uh, might be a bad sign. I put bad in the people's hands. It's not my style. Yeah, uh, Chris. Chris I used to be able taste. to smoke all types of shit, and then it was just like I got into yoga meditation, and after long times doing it, it's like, oh fuck. This I just is fucking. Not happening I just had a plant. No, I got. Uh, Joel used to smoke a lot more. And it was a sativa. I kind of grew it. Mysteriously, so it just fucking. Mysteriously. Well, I didn't fucking have uh, any known genetics for it. Oh, that's so right. So it was just like it was whatever it was, you know. I knew it was a female. 
Should I when it turned out to be a hard tasty. sativa, I was like, nah, fuck. Should I, I don't like sativas that much. Should have had like the, the ganja sorting hat, put it on the strain, it's like train wreck, or puts it on, it's like <laughs> pineapple express. It would be really cool if you could find basic testing for house plants. Like the technology isn't there yet, but maybe one day the technology will be there to fucking just test it's really strains good, by the way. in the house. Yeah. Not needing a whole fucking lab and shit. Hell yeah. So let me do the, the news real quick. So local, you guys want to talk about the brew fest you guys went to yesterday? Oh, What's yeah. that about? Yeah, yeah you told me you went to McMahon's. That's the local event. Yeah, it was just uh, just a, it was a small brew fest in a parking lot. It was at McMinniman's right here on High Street. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was. Uh, they had a lot of good beers though. Nice. So it was the twenty second annual. You said. Uh, yeah, I think it was twenty second or twenty third. I don't know why. I don't so know. did you have to pay a cover to get in or like? Yeah, it was. It was <coughs> it was twenty five dollars, and you got a little mug that had the 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 brew fest on it. Okay. Uh, that annual brew fest on it. What was um, the best beer that you think you had? There was this one called the. <laughs> Excuse me. This wind wind or something. Ah, oh, shit. What was it? It was a it was a sour ale or gose. Gose. That wasn't a bad beer. I think and you introduced me to that too after you had it. It wasn't a bad everybody beer. else liked it. Everybody else they like, talked to, they liked it. Boy. I gotta make something like that one of these days. Okay, yeah. and also Austin does homebrew, and I've helped yeah, him. Yeah, he, he told me about he that makes, last time he was here. We talked about yeah, it. Yeah, it makes really good beer. Yeah, I bought some over yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm working on a seven gallon right now of uh, English oatmeal pale ale. You're walking on a bunch of sunshine, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> how to feel good? No, so I have to admit though, uh, I was telling you? him on the way there. I was like. Well, I hope they're just not going to give us droplets and droplets and then, oh, there you go for like your tokens much. and stuff. Uh, but it was tokens. nice. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. could... Usually when, uh, I used to be a bartender, usually when you're doing tastings, especially for beer, yeah, it's like yeah. an ounce and a half or yeah. something. It's kind of a little bit uh, over a shot. Yeah. You know? yeah so yeah, you get yeah. a good flavor of yeah. it. Yeah. It's kind of like how they do wine tastings in the fucking liquor store. Yeah. They'll give you like a shot glass full of wine. I was surprised there. though, because even There's after, you, you know, you could... Give them like four tokens. I mean, you got ten tokens for twenty five dollars. Sure, but I mean, even for like two tokens, you could get your jar halfway full, yeah. and then for a four, you get fully full. And I was like, you know, I don't even really need to spend two tokens. One token's good enough. I'm all like, I'm sure. getting like and four or five were, gulps out of this. So is some great. of them were strong, like eight percent one. Like oh, yeah. The Rocktoberfest was yeah. great. I like yeah, it. I've never been like a good. beer drinker. When I was drinking, I fucking drank straight liquor and like Chaser. Yeah, some people and just It was just way. to get to the yeah. point, and yeah. then I was like drinking to maintain, basically. I've always been the opposite kind of yeah. beer drinker. I, I do like a little hard liquor, but yeah. I keep it on. <laughs> no, I fucking oh, love yeah. hard liquor, yeah. bro. I Chris mean, and I oh, definitely dude, put away yeah. some bottles. I thought about it the other day. Chris and I used to put a bottle of into the liquor store. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah. He doesn't do alcohol. I don't do liquor anymore, so it's good. Yeah. Man, we're fucking growing up, bro. Yeah. yeah. Getting old, you know. Getting old. <laughs> Treating so, ourselves to a good life. So I have some uh, some national news that is kind of connected to us. What's up, national news? So What's up, Phoenix, here Arizona? Last, <laughs> right? So last night we had a U of O game, University of Oregon game. They, uh, Brigham Young University from Utah came over here. And they lost. And oh. the, all, all the students were rowdy, annoying as fuck last night. I seen them on the way home. I seen them, like, walking. Ah, I just heard them. I'm like, fuck, shut up. But uh, apparently, apparently, last, apparently they, uh, the, the U of O students did a whole thing of, like, fuck the Mormons. <laughs> fuck the Mormons. What did and, the Mormons do to them? Uh, I, they were there. And, yeah, and apparently... <laughs> The uh, the Way Utah to on somebody. the Utah governor <laughs> the Utah yeah. governor this morning uh, Governor Spencer Cox you know Cox he knows how to deal with those dicks you know what I mean <laughs> but yeah he uh, he sent off a, a, a you know that's good he sent off a tweet about uh, like is, so at U of O do they try to keep, do they allow bigotry to stay alive and I'm like yeah you should come over here and hang out and listen to the, all the shit I hear right here in the parking lot and alleyway all the time <laughs> including drunk bitches some young fucking dudes yeah. in there playing fucking acoustic guitar sucking dick all day 
just Wonderwall. Like, oh, I'm feeling in a song. <laughs> Shut up. He's just doing Wonderwall or some bullshit. I was just driving downtown the other day and fucking saw some girl topless screaming at cars. I was like, all right. I <laughs> pull over and be like, "Hey, lady, want to no, hop in?" I was hop over in? by uh, where the tap house was. And yeah, and she was by that buy too. Oh yeah, and uh, she was just standing there in traffic, like I, I, I heard about that. And and just screaming. That was, How were her tits? Yeah. Not good. No. Like <laughs> I'd ask. Know, so like scale bees? one to ten, man. A nice B cup, something like that. B cup, yeah. B's or C's. Okay, <laughs> but she was just crazy looking. You're know, like. Damn, man, I bet she was pretty at a point. Yep. So, wait, this fucking Governor Cox, or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> yep. he's Governor <laughs> Cox, I, I remember that, Governor Cox. Yeah, he's wait, having problems because oh, people Utah. are making fun Utah. of the Mormons. So, the, U- the Utah State Governor was like, what's up with the U of O? They suck? Or something like that? They are like, oh, they're, they're keeping bigotry alive? Why are they doing that? And I think he's, I think they're mad because they lost. But it's like, if you look at him perspective, their perspective. I'm sure if teams go to Utah, I'm sure they say offensive if things you're too. The governor yeah, of Utah, like, don't you have better Fox things? Maybe I don't Fox know. Do you give a shit? <laughs> because Brigham Young University is one of the f- the few big schools in Utah because they don't have a lot. So that's Man, that's Utah all they got. Utah doesn't have shit. They have Brigham Young <laughs> yeah, University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one big school they have. That everyone exactly. That's it. It's, it's all they got. Kind of like how Eugene is. With <laughs> yeah, they got Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is some bad. Oh, the university? Uh, no, not the university. I'm just saying Salt Lake City. I have been. Know, to... It's not bad. <laughs> it's That's a little it weird. Does, got. It's got its but counterculture you should never there. Describe a place is like. All right. It's all right. Like it's not great. I've been. Yeah, to... like, That's the worst fucking. I've been to Utah like, no, and I've been to Salt Lake or something. Go to Detroit. It's like. I did there die. Some houses. There was, a lot of, there was a lot of homeless people. There was you know. a dude trying to fucking carjack me. There was a lot of factories, a bunch of people hanging out inside that shouldn't have been there. Probably could have been better. Who's yeah. the dude that's doing fucking tour guides in Detroit? Like he's on the bus and he's oh, like, yeah. "There's a guy who does that in Compton Ford too." Factory. Yeah, there's that like a shut down and now there's a hundred homeless people and ten stabbings here. By the way, there's a pack of feral dogs. Everybody, make sure to smile, wave. All right, yeah. everybody, we got some dog kebabs. We got yeah. Shit. Speaking of which, we have a dog vendor right over here. That's pretty it's nuts. local and they're organic. Well, we promise. That was nuts Here's all that. the trash calls. You can use them for recycling. Yeah, yeah. they have fucking wild <laughs> uh, packs of dogs controlling the streets. Of Fuck yeah, they do. Because yeah. when you see what, when you turn a corner and you see 15 dogs. That are hungry no matter, as fuck yeah, and no they're foaming from the mouth. Big, small, or whatever. That's man. 15. 15 dogs. Is a lot of dogs. It's yeah. like Jurassic Park of all those little dinosaurs attacked yeah. you. There was just a whole bunch from them and just get overrun. Oh, shit. Ugh. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. The little spitting ones. Little spitting ones. Yeah, dinosaurs. the ones that yeah. got Newman. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got Newman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's uh, the national news. And uh, for world news, there's something that uh, Chris and Ukraine's un- fucking up Russia. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Them back. Yeah, it's awesome. they're finally doing it. Yeah, well, they're, they're funny because they're, they're like, pushing uh, Russia back right now. Yeah, well, they back let, to the border. They let yeah. Russia. It was kind of like yeah. boxing. They let Russia take a lot of swings at them. Yeah, waited until they got a lot of aid from us. And then they got a lot of fucking training in the last like month on how to use yeah. our technology and our weapons. And they just got like fucking all these tanks and, and all these fucking and the and and too. And so they oh, just yeah. got uh, really fancy drones too. And when yeah. they resupplied them, they came up with a strategy on what they were gonna do to fucking use them, basically. Yeah. And it worked really well. I'll be really honest with you, I haven't been following this stuff. I thought it was done and over with. No, it's still going. No, it's, it's like still balls still deep. Yeah, it's still balls bad. deep. It's pretty that, bad. That's, that's still, why I'm watching it. Because they're like all shooting from a distance. Like, there's yeah. not a lot of... There is some fighting on the ground, but everybody's shooting it's from fucking 50 miles artillery. away. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah. longest... Yeah. It's right now currently yeah. the bloodiest and longest conflict since World War II in, yeah. in, in, in continental it's, Europe. It's killed more people in the first week than it did in... Like World War Two, it's crazy, man. Because uh, not all World Putin's War Two, but it, it killed in the first week. It killed more people than all the random like Soviet oh, disputes that you yeah. had throughout the seventies and eighties yeah. and shit, yeah. like yeah. the Chechen wars and all that random <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, more deaths happened that first week than all those <laughs> random things between now and World War Two. Yeah. yeah, because the Cold War had some random little hot yeah yeah. Moments. Did. yeah. Fucking, but the craziest part was uh, Putin, uh, for a while, he basically was like, 
we'll just keep bombarding them and they won't be able to fight back because we have nuclear weapons. Yeah. Well, eventually they went, fuck you, we're fighting back, and they uh, they struck back really well. Yeah. So it's just well. funny, man. They were outnumbered. They're outnumbered like 10 to 1, basically. Yeah, seriously. And they're still beating them up. Who <laughs> thought he was going to walk in in like three days or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, he thought it was going to be over in like a week. Yeah, a week. And it's been yeah. like months. What's, yeah. been what's months funny, too, is the governor of... Um, Kiev, the capital, yeah. Vasily, he was a world boxing champion, and he had just retired, and he's yeah. like, fuck yeah, you, Russia. Right. Yeah, he's a badass. Yeah, he's like, literally, he was a heavyweight world badass. boxing champion. Like he's Zelensky. like, Zelensky. Yeah, Zelensky, yeah, he's like, no, no, Zelensky, Zelensky's the, the, the oh, guy no, he's, he's the yeah, president. Yeah. No, the, the mayor, the, the yeah, the yeah. mayor of Kiev. Oh, the Screaming mayor. Sorry. 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 My bad. The mayor, mayor, the mayor of Kiev. I told you again. <laughs> don't talk <laughs> about him that way. Yeah. Now, yeah. now use can't sleep. Now use can't sleep. <laughs> some of that shit. <laughs> Rockstale. No, fucking uh, Putin's getting fucked up, and he's not letting anybody know. Uh, right now, uh, the last few days, he's, he's mad, had. Soldiers yeah, basically come out that have been fighting in the last few months, yeah. and they're on the internet, and they're like, "Yeah, nobody knew what to do. We didn't even know we were invading. Basically, they yeah. just pushed us in a direction, and then we started fighting people that we thought were like uh, NATO uh, people. They didn't even realize it was Ukraine for like three weeks. <laughs> like it was just <laughs> legit they, bunch of Ukraine yeah. dudes that you're yeah. fighting. And then eventually, they're like, you know, they're trying the to save their Ukraine, own ass like, too. They're kind of yeah, saying they're 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 a bunch of shit, and but. Everything. They're definitely uh, bitching about how they didn't have a fucking game plan and shit. Yeah, yeah because it happened in direction. right after the Olympics happened. Mm -hmm. Like, he literally yeah. waited as soon as yeah. it was over. Like, all right. Yeah. Like, let's stick our dick in there and see if we can get it out. Well, I think yeah. he realizes <laughs> his time, problem man. is it's getting ripped off right now. Like, the movie Teeth. <laughs> like, yeah! Vagina of Ukraine is teeth. I think as you become an old man, you still try to think, like, I got a lot of fight left in me. Yeah. You know, when you're just an old fucking you don't dude give that, up. that's way past his age. Yeah, yeah. Because he was a KGB and a badass yeah, back in the day in the time, 70s days when blood. the Soviet Union was still alive. Yeah. And his whole wet dream has been to fucking go over to Ukraine and take the, it back from yeah. Russia and then, you know, try to a, bring the Soviet Union start back. A fucking, start yeah. a, a new Soviet Union. Basically, you know, call it something different. And it's all because NATO pushed too far. Yeah. Well, the Ukraine. whole idea is democracy is yeah. fucking overthrowing these old yeah. dictatorships. Yeah. And people Enough. want more freedoms, and the governments are struggling to hold on to them. That's why Hong Kong yeah. and Vietnam have all these fucking yeah. rebellions. Yeah. Vietnam people get shot ridiculously uh, just for doing weird shit like going on the internet. Fucking North, talking bad about North the country. Korea, hundred percent too. Like, yeah. I thought it was more yeah. flea in Vietnam, Vietnam than uh, China and all that. The the communists, like, they actually let you have social. Media. I'm not maybe sure. It's, maybe it's fucking. That's what I thought. Be North more, Korea, maybe is what I meant. I think you meant North Korea. Yeah, yeah, I'm stoned. That's okay. Yeah. No, North Korea definitely, but I think Vietnam is more like. Coming to all sides. Yeah, no, I think Vietnam finally, has been on our side. Because taking in some capitalism. Well, Which Vietnam is, was what we fought over in the, the 70s over fucking yeah. communism. And yeah. we, we lost, but then they're like, hey, you guys. Well, it's funny, even though money. we lost, man, fucking, they still we, ended up becoming a democracy well, a few and years they, later. And, and it's because of, and they, they wanted, they wanted, they wanted, they wanted like to raise their standard of living, and they're like, oh, capitalism, we can get some cool shit. Like, it's, it's hard, man, because when you come at people with, like, prosperity, like, you yeah, know, your eventually. whole village can do well, but you got to do what we're doing. Yeah. You know, instead of having one dude that's just like, you guys are all working for me. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like yeah. it's like a Bruce Lee movie where, like, the bad guy is the boss of the factory, the ice place. Yeah. He's like, you're all working for me now. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, Bruce Lee is, like, stuck working for him, like, the first one. And then he, like, finds some murders and finds, like, a dead dude bleeding on an ice block. He's like, this is bullshit. And the boss is like, what are you going to do about it? And then as 10 dudes, as ten dudes of nunchuck show, and then Bruce Lee rips his shirt off, yeah. and screams, oh, screams like a canoe off. getting shoved up his ass. He's like, wah! And then this fucking is, handles is, all of them. talking about fucking China, bro. That's what happens in China. I know. I was just, people, I was comparing to a Bruce Lee movie. I love Bruce Lee. They go out the streets and they fucking Sorry. protest, man, and the government finds ways to get rid of them. <laughs> Yeah. They basically like silently get rid of certain people. Sorry, yeah. education camps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're going. You're going to where we need you yeah. to go. <laughs> yeah. 
Straight you're, in the grave. You're watching nothing but Veggie Tales and <laughs> Abba <laughs> things. <laughs> Veggie Tales and Abba <laughs> music <laughs> videos. That's what we're doing, tell boys. Tell that he's a Barney. <laughs> yeah. And, and then that tell that he's a Does the clock thing. You remember that? Oh, that hot the bitch. The she was doing weird kinky shit on the ground, doing the like the different signs. I'm yeah. like, man, I'll give you know, her the time of day anytime. I have to admit, the weird even with Hitman. When they fucking did those same oh, sorts of shit, they got like fifty motherfuckers coming out of the factory. <laughs> yeah. It's all right here. Like, I'm gonna kick all your fucking asses. <laughs> and that really happened too. Like that, that actually happened. Well, it, he was based yeah. off of a guy that trained yeah. Bruce. Yeah, Lee. it man. And yes. he was a really uh, respected martial artist because he had fought uh, a bunch of grand masters over the years. Yeah. I did a lot of research into him once I watched like all the movies. I've it's seen all that man cool too. Story. And he really did stand up to the Japan and, and when they, when they took over his, China. It's true how his wife died and it's true how he died. He both, they both died from cancer. But it's funny because in the movie they don't really talk about it too much. Uh, they talk about his wife dying the last, and him dying in the last movie. But just like you see him smoking a cigarette every once in a while through the movie. Yeah. Well, that guy went through a lot of shit, man. Like, he had Japan that invaded his country and mm-hmm. fucked over his whole country and he yeah. beat their top dude. Like, that happened. It's pretty yeah. crazy. And then he went on and beat this top British boxer to show him, like, hey, we, we know some shit over Did that actually people. happen to him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And he beat a I top British to boxer. Up, that... Yeah, he did, he did that shit. It's it was crazy. because at the time Britain was coming over and saying how. Right um, after World War II. They were saying how uh, <laughs> uh, martial arts, basically, from from Asia was bullshit and how this dude could outbox everybody but he was just a dude on fucking some crazy shit he was an old school boxer yeah top British boxer did the fucking this shit but just a very strong you know like a heavyweight yeah he was a heavyweight fighting the dude that was like 5'5 and was like probably 135 pounds 145 like he Phantom weight or featherweight. Just, yeah. Uh, the lighter but he got the faster. What else we got on the yeah. agenda, Trevor? I feel like we're, we're, we're I know. cooling right now. I want us to be running like a stream. Yeah. All right, so Joel, we're going to have you talk about the uh, black magic, the cult, maybe the Kabbalah if you want. What are you talking about, Joel? Well, <clears throat> I don't know exactly how you want to yeah, say it because right I'll try to stay on topic here. I'll okay. Then. Basically, do it, give us a quick background of like how you got into it. I know you, kn- Joel knows a lot of stuff, so he's trying to I'm a, streamline it. Sure, give us a quick run down. When I was 30, I got with this gal named Jenny. Okay. Nice girl. Yeah, she was seven years older than me, and uh, nice. she was into witchcraft, and you know, I. Yeah. My background before getting with her, my buddy was into pagan witchcraft and sure. all this stuff, and his mom was too. And so, I was like, "Well, what's going on here?" And she was, uh, she showed me tarot and got me into rocks. And I was like, "You know, does this shit actually work?" I mean, I was a Christian Baptist uh, from early years till about sure. sixteen. I fucking loved that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a new, new kind of experience. yeah, yeah. And so. And some of her stuff she was talking about, Sephiroth, and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And yeah. she's, oh, this is the Kabbalah, I guess. And I was like, yeah, that's part of my culture. I'm part Jewish here, so. Sure. I ended Want up- to explain the Kabbalah for everybody? It's like a Jewish text, right? <laughs> oh, it's not a text. Basically, what the Kabbalah is, if we look, it's part of Jewish mysticism. Sure. But what's happened is we understand this as the human psyche. The tree of life and the tree of death is part of one's human psyche. And sure. where uh, you got your... I'm going to try to stay on track here, but... Oh, you're doing good. You're your right. virtues and vices, the seven deadly sins, all come from that. Yeah, and like we, blood you blood get into Catholicism that. and Christianity, and you get into Jesus and... That's a whole nother, nother thing, whether that guy was real, who that guy was. I believe it's the deity within, and I, yeah, I love the fucking burping during this shit. No, it's, it's, it's great. It's drinking that coffee, man. It's fucking digesting now. But t- yeah, with the occult, and basically the occult calls it your HGA, your holy guardian angel. And um, like yeah, pretty about. much. Yeah, that leaves right on you. <laughs> Yeah, your holy guardian angel comes from basically your spirit or the kundalini within this goes all the fucking way back to Buddhism fucking Taoism all that fucking shit 
stems from Stoicism, which got mixed in with meditation during 300 BC. And so, yeah. So pretty much with the Kabbalah itself, you're looking at your shadow self and your light self. You hear different deities, as one may call it within, and one of them is Jesus, that has to do with your son's chakra. Now, some people may say, well, Jesus was a real fucking man. Well, you know, if you hear God the Father, which would be considered Zeus, and they make statues out of this, uh, putting it all the fuck around like Aphrodite. I'm not saying these people weren't real. I mean, people may say, well, you know, we got Jesus here who may be Apollonius of Tyana. He may be Yuzasef. Uh, this guy, last name Yeshua. And so we've got all these things. It, what no, were these it. fucking people practicing? They were practicing a lot of meditation. And you got the Greeks and priests who were doing it. And, you know, when we look at Jesus and him dying on the cross, if he really did, that's the big thing. Well, the if Romans he, crucified a lot of people back in the day. Like, that was a hobby. Like, nah, well, I don't I don't like the way you, you look or this or that. Nah, you're on the cross. Buddy. But like, I, would say, thing, I would say... That that I would say that there was a, a big reason if this guy did get hung is because he was practicing meditation, bringing it to the his people. And basically, it was outlawed after King Solomon's time. They were like, nope, people can't practice these things anymore. You can... There you go. And he brought it to his people and was talking about, yeah, here you go. And it's all like, you can find God under this. But in reality, I mean, even during Jesus' time, the word God wasn't even put around. So it's like... Well, that it, time it was Yahweh, I know. But, but they didn't even call it God. That's a whole other thing. I mean, God, the, the word they, wasn't invented until like sometime the first of the 6th century yeah. BC, uh, not BC, AD. So is AD. this still Kabbalah? Oh, yeah, well, we're talking about all sorts I of things guess, with man. this, man. So, all so sorts the point, of things. The point what, is, are we, what are we going after? Oh, here? okay, because so back on the point. Play. Because 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 you gave a brief oversight <laughs> yeah. of like no, every yeah, philosophy yeah, yeah. ever. I have no ever. idea what the so, fuck so going ba- so, so going back moment. with remember, Kabbalah remember. is basically is that you got your own psyche here, and you have your shadow self and your light self and the Kabbalah tree itself is is supposed to be the map of the psyche and all these sephiroths slash uh, chakras that are connected to it are supposed to be the planets and basically it gets into a whole lot of things that you have one has your own angels and your own demons and these are the energies of the planets within and with your psyche that when you sure, was like I got my own okay, demons got something so, on so you you did mention this earlier about Taoism and Taoism and and I know that's like when well, the whole thing with, with uh, Star Wars like they kind of took they took some of the ideas of like Taoism of like just ex- the, using the force, like yeah. accepting the universe, the energy from the entire universe. Trevor, stop trying to tell women that you're about to use the force on them. <laughs> <laughs> That's only Wednesday nights, man, on hump day. Come on now. So, I mean, if we want to put the force into Kabbalah, that's, that's what, but it's about the whole, yeah. it's about <laughs> accepting the energy the of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's going off it, the rails. It, I have no idea it's where okay. this conversation Chris, is going. Chris? Kabbalah. What so, is it? So, I still don't understand. It's about lines, and it's about different entities. And it's about different rows of plants. Kabbalah well, is a, I guess, you, the best way, a philosophy of, of, of old Jewish mysticism that was That used. has to do with your psyche. That has the to do with your psyche. The shadow and the light self. I'm sure okay. that if the Jesus that we know of was the guy and did these things, like did some stuff, I'm sure this Jesus Let me add one more thing to this. And these apostles probably talked to these guys. Can I help explain? Let it? me add one more oh thing God. real quick. Okay. Oh, is that... So you, <laughs> so you got your spirit, and that is supposed to be Kundalini, and you have. What your, is Kundalini exactly? Kundalini is like a serpent type energy okay. that's dormant in the base of the spine, and you okay. awaken that with meditation and breathing techniques. Mm. And so people did this back in the biblical days, but then they heard their own deities within, like we'll say Zeus. Aphrodite, sure. depending on the cultures, yeah. and that was their spirit talking through their chakras and sephiroths, right. and they heard it within. It's like praying and shit. Yeah. I, all cultures yes have and ways no, of meditation. Yeah. At the same time, uh, yeah. these yeah. things were uh, practiced for long, long periods of time, and then 
it got outlawed that only the priests can be doing these things. No one else can be doing these things at all. And I mean, the thing is, when you look at certain things with meditation, that man can almost control God or control nature with it. And that's where we get into magic itself. And that's, I mean, even higher forms of magic that man could control nature. He can control the gods. He can, which are these um, uh, planets, your, um, the astrological signs and the stars up in the heavens. And that, yeah, it gets very, very, very interesting. And I ended up practicing Raja Yoga with this system of Kabbalah, which um, is probably the highest form of meditations out there. And I'm, I don't teach it don't really get into talking about it because I don't want other people saying, well, we're going to write this down. Well, yeah, this guy's got some other stuff that we've never practiced. And I've checked out other occultists and they're all like, they don't practice this stuff at all. And it's just like, I ended up doing it for like two years and it's, it's a very dangerous practice. Yeah. yeah very yeah. dangerous. So yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, so, so to tie in, so yeah. to tie in, I, because I, Joel has studied a lot of a lot of this for a long time, and I know you had to throw a lot of information at once. And, and I know all over the world there are people that practice these sort of every every culture, including like different cultures over native cult tribes over here in the Americas too, had their own forms. Satanic of, people do it too, and Luciferians yes. do it too. Yeah. Oh. Every culture around the world has their own form of hey, meditating we're connected all to. Weird. A, Higher power, yes. We're all fucking weird, man. But Everybody to tie into what, what Austin's going to talk about, when you talked about the guardian angels, he was going to talk about the whole thing with energy manipulation and coincidences and how people, you know, like... You now, people have, sur have like, survived a lot of crazy things, have cheated death many times. They always say, like, oh, I credit, like, a guardian angel. Like, I myself... I have almost died too many times to count, and if there is if there is a guard angel, that motherfucker's probably smoking a pack a day and has gray hair at this point. It's probably drinking Colt 45s. Talking yeah. to me, bro. I know. I smoke a pack a day. Yeah, dude. But, I'm your guardian angel. <laughs> yeah, but even Trevor, older. I'm not real. Even in 30 years. I'm not real. Ah! <laughs> Where is my mind? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Tyler Durden. <laughs> I'm Trevor you're, Tyler Durden. You're teaching me to make explosives, explosives out of soap? Yes. So anyway, yeah. go into what you're saying. Guardian Angels, energy manipulation, and coincidence. I got some things to say, but let's well, have them yes. uh, go for well, it. This, this all kind of ties into Joel's because there's just is, I've been looking at ways to get tele, te telepathy as like a scientific <laughs> study. So that that is so, and that goes into is you know meditation and even religious and spiritual views. So the more we delve into science, and the more we delve into like quantum mechanics, the more we're learning about like dark matter and like the way yeah. how the universe is a lot more than it seems. So what we consider magic, like I've I've always seen it like the things we called magic back in the day was science we didn't understand yet. Like, yeah. how lightning works. Like, oh, it must oh, be man. some angry, hungover dude named Zeus just fucking <laughs> threw lightning bolts. <laughs> now we're like, okay, it's the energy that shoots down and then it ends up, the molecules get supercharged, come down. Or like a lot of these, a lot of these natural phenomena that we don't understand that we're trying, that now as we look deeper in the universe, we're like, okay, this and this. And like, okay, there might be multiple dimensions. There might be there might be, like, yeah. beings from other dimensions, maybe. Like, phantasms, ghosts, whatever you want to call them. Like, phantasms. That's another term for a ghost, is a phantasm. Yes. Yeah, well, I just want to see what actually... Phantasm, phantasm bud. Phantasm. Well, even with telepathy I just, I just wanna how and this psychism... Go ahead, go ahead. Phantasm. I'll say in a few minutes. Go ahead. Okay. No, I'm just wondering how this energy, where it comes from. Does it come from your... Own? It comes so, from within. Does it get... Does it, it get, comes from does deep it get within. Charged? By is something, this a 80s inspirational. I don't know. Does, does it get charged by something, and is there a map behind it? I love it. Like he's talking about the Kabbalah as a map. So, as I was gonna say with this, uh, to go on, like telepathy itself, you get into Carl Jung and his thoughts on the subconscious, and, and is he's the guy that had the archetypes, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the everything. philosopher, the German philosopher. He, he believed that yeah. one's own subconscious could know the past, the present, and the future. Yes. And there are certain occultists who would be like, well, is the subconscious alive or is it not? And 
you know, there's a lot of people who have their different back and forth views on it. But when it comes to psychism, forms of telepathy, people practicing remote viewing and stuff, all is the practice of tapping into your subconscious. And, uh, and throughout the world, that is still a thing that happens. Like, if you... I've seen, I've, I remember like I took a yeah. psychology class in high school and it was really interesting because they talk about Carl Jung a lot, but they also talk about how a lot of parts in the world, they still have psychics that people go to to heal themselves, like throughout, throughout like Latin America yeah. or like Eastern Europe or even like throughout like Asia and Africa, they'll, they'll go and like if they're sick and they're, the shaman supposedly will be able to manipulate energy in a way that will get either bad spirit out do certain things and there's usually like you have to pay it usually have to sacrifice the goat or you have to do certain things yeah. and they'll use some some manipulation energy to get these bad spirits out of there and yeah a lot of it to me is like eh, it's not my thing I would disagree with not with what you're saying but, but you know, going into that you could just it. do meditation and breathing yeah. exercise to get the fuck but there out are of that shit. there are people that still go and see shamans and that that still throughout the world go and like they, they they do that for they like these are people I think might have energy manipulation or telepathy to do good or bad like hey, I need you to curse this motherfucker he fucked my fucked my grandma stole my dog like did all these things like all right bring a chicken bring this weird plan over here we're gonna do some weird things it's gonna happen well but, I mean I'm saying I've, Trevor that yeah. people lie <laughs> I just, lie to people yeah. about being able to perform fucking miracles. It's been going on since the beginning of time, yes. Oh, I mean, that there's dumb yeah. fucking people and there's people smart enough to steal from them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Hey, man, I was reading in fucking cultural anthropology. I forgot what the culture was. But they, that people believe people that, that like, if they tripped this. over a rock, um, a witch did that to them. There's no course. way they could take any responsibility for tripping over a rock. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. It's yeah. not me. Well, it's stuff it's like somebody that. else. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, that's fucking derivative, man. System. People just need to figure out what the fuck they're doing. Spend their time. Focus. Well, I mean, let me tell you something. You only got so much time on the fucking planet, bro. You <laughs> might as well fucking use it well. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's certain cultures. I would say this that are out in Timbuktu right, who are not connected in, in not yeah, connected with f- fucking yeah. civilization. I could see where they're coming from. Yeah. I mean, but let's say someone's in civilization and they're all like, "I oh, trip over." It's a witch. It's like, dude, come on. Let, let's get together. let's get well, going here. What's going on? You're educated and you live yeah. by your fucking self and you have no technology, it's easy to believe fucking superstition. Oh, yeah, all the time. That's, okay. the, big, that's the biggest thing is the more we get educated in modern science, we're like, okay, that's bullshit. Well, that's that's what's going on. Get it, we'll never well, I think that science, science right is way. very, very important, even well, though I'm in mysticism I, and I still practice it. About. You're studying the fucking. You're People studying how are nature just getting works. Getting out of their religious habits because science is disproving. Yes. All their dumb Every shit. generation, more and more people look more at science versus like the same religion that all their ancestors. Followed. I think people should look at psychology too. Psychology and, is where it's at. And bro, fucking understand to religious understand ideologies yourself. through that. Learning how to understand yourself well, also, first yeah. before your religion. Also, or psychology where goes from. along with. You got to know where your fucking feet are first. To see whether. Yes. Well, you know, if they're grounded or not, there you go. To know. research telepathy, definitely means psychology. Well, it's like before you go exploring the you deep know. fucking abscesses of what's possible, why don't you focus on what's immediate? Because then through that, you can conquer another goal. Yeah. Are you saying that Baby also steps. we shouldn't be traveling to Mars, that we should get our shit fixed yes. before we travel to Mars? Yes, no, we should. what we should do is we should build a fucking station on the moon to fucking fuel up. I like the idea of going to the moon and using it as a pit stop. But the problem with doing outpost. that is, is we've done it for fucking hundreds of years, man. The I don't, rich get rich and the poor get poor. I don't like the, the idea of spreading the human race, blast though. the fuck off and leave and all the well, I still think we need to figure out our shit before we going to Mars yeah. or the moon. Well, we've been no, to the moon. No, no. Sorry, gonna before we go to fucking Mars and plant our feet there. We're going to send a bunch of smart people and a bunch of rich people to Mars, and they're going to build a space this station. This time I will probably And they're going to leave all the fucking poor people on the shit planet once we fucking mine it done. Did you see that Tesla rocket that they were testing for the, like, the little Johnny... To the outer space for I, in the back, it uh, came down and then it blew up. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, it's hard to get out of the atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, not, not Tesla, but Did this you guy. See Discovery hey, good for Tesla. Show? He's trying yeah. and he's trying. Not, not, not Tesla. Did you ever though. actually see any of uh, the, the, the lips off Tesla, uh, Cape so Canaveral? We went to Cape Canaveral um, one time on a camping SpaceX. trip, but uh, that SpaceX, morning SpaceX. it got canceled. Because but it's still by right. Tesla. Isn't SpaceX is still done by it's, Tesla? No, right? it's, it's okay, bro. It's off the rails. I'm trying to get back. It's all right. So Chris is from Florida, and Cape Canaveral's there. I love the break. Yeah, Chris is right. I'm trying to get it back. <laughs> so, you know, it's been a little swampy, this conversation. But, uh, but uh, he, he's from Florida, <laughs> and Cape Canaveral talked about one time. you me down. I know. And I'm going to snap this up like an alligator. Yeah. Snap it like a snap of turtle. But, yeah. but um, I'm talking about Cape Canaveral. He went to go on a camping trip to see a, a rocket ship go off, and they yeah. didn't. It got canceled that morning. A lot of times when they do these launches and shit to try to get out of the atmosphere, it comes down to weather. It comes down to oh, yeah. a lot of different things have to go right yeah. so that they can attempt because it's billions and billions of dollars going into one fucking thing. The smallest and thing can blow up. Fucking hiccup blows up. Like the know? Challenger where that, the just, teacher and all those people blew up. Well, that was time. a little sadder because there was fucking people on board. Yeah. If supplies blow up, it's, it is what it is. You, know, you lost that fucking supply run, but That's you have awesome. astronauts some people that have been training, you know, like going up there and they blow up. Shit sucks. Yeah. Well, that sucks that you missed that, man. That would have been a cool experience. It would have been. Yeah, it would have been. That would have been cool. Yeah, but you know what? I think in life, man, everything happens for a reason. It's all fucking, you know, you're walking a path, man. You got a few choices and shit, but, you know, you got to run your fucking race, you know? Yeah. You know, I will you'll say get, this. You'll get where you're going. Then I think the big thing with the meaning of life and people ask why are we here yeah. i think that's we a fucking dumb ass questions. fucking question it's we like you're too many questions man why can't we just be but the uh, my thing with the meaning of life is you're here to experience and you're going to experience whatever you need to experience have fun and live it yeah. there you go you're going to be on the roller coaster until you're off the ride and that's about it it's going to be a lot of highs and lows <laughs> now you want to talk about magic right who wanted to talk about magic didn't Austin well, have a subject? Well, he he Austin did. Had one. Uh, he had one, but it got tied in. So let's, let's have you talk about some specific things, Austin, because yeah. I was trying to like tie everything together. So was Chris and Joel too. It's just we have a lot of shit going on. So specifically, Austin, let's let's start off with occurrences, because like people will be like, oh, it's weird that happens so many times. Coincidences? In science, we yeah. look at it as statistics. Like, statistically... Yeah, it isn't it the like Matrix yeah. uh, fucking glitching? Isn't that... Yeah, that's it one way. It feels like it. Yeah. Right? But it's, it's like, like it, you know, it's, it's one of those things, like, how many times... What is the likelihood that you're going to see this one exact person at the same place every day? You know, it's like rolling dice. Yeah. Like, cool, the statistics is like rolling dice. Like, what's the chance you're going to get this many threes or this many sixes? Are you gonna not do well? Are you gonna snake eyes? Yeah, probability. Probability, probability yeah. which like which is a fit part of statistics, which is part of which is a branch of mathematics, which well, is a hey, that. Does everybody class. like math? No, <laughs> fuck math. Yeah. I like basic math practical math. Yeah. I like practical math to like build shit. Like I like that. You know, my math teacher like was measuring tapes. Yeah. Yeah. Measuring tapes are cool. My like, math teacher like was saying that math. basically Math is yeah. the language of the universe. Yeah. So yeah, what would be the what would be a guesstimate? What would be the curse word of the universe? <laughs> probably <laughs> pi. Probably pi. Three point one four two six. Going all over the. Place. But anyways, so so what is? Yeah. What is it you want to talk about? What happened, stats, and then? Because we did talk about telepathy. Yeah. So it's I guess let's try to like. Is that zero? part of that? Is that like? Yes. Uh, that yes. Like how does it happen? Is it like a like you know like a my- mycelium network? Where oh, it travels to different yes. trees and brush whatever. Like does that Everything happen with the energy that right? way? Like there's like an energy transfer between. It's a the giant forms. tree. Well, it's kind of like and micro. It's kind of like mycorrhizae, which which oh, are a fungus that takes nutrients from the roots and then will spread to the soil. But also yeah. with the soil, it'll. It's like the middleman between the soil itself and the plant, and it'll take yeah. the nutrients from the soil yeah. and it'll gather and, and it'll take portions. Yes. Yeah, it communicates with yeah. all of everything in the forest. Yes. So I was wondering if those occurrences, when they happen, because sometimes some people get them more often, like predictions, and they, they get them more often than other people. 
I'm know. just, I'm just wondering how, what, how does the energy with that walk? Or is it just, is it just people called off as just coincidence all the time? Well, like you got to break it down, man. If we're all just collections of atoms, there's going to be occurrences. That's what I'm saying. Like those, those electrons like, and you know, protons yeah. meet up with other yeah. things. Just how lightning, way. it's like lightning, positive and negative. Sure. It's the ground. It's, it probably happens that same way, like those magnets of strong atoms. Or a something. lot of things have to occur for and something it sucks like an event to happen. Well, let, me, let me ask this. Do you believe, I mean, even uh, physics has proven this, that everything that's natural Everything has an energy puts energy off it puts off energy it it unconsciously it or consciously. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I mean, could someone off. be next to you and you're thinking it's like, wow, I was just thinking about that, and it's just like, well, fuck. There well, you go. If you think about well, it too, the Earth creates electromagnetic fields. Yeah. So the like, Earth itself like is, so a, is our is a fucking living, brain for our aura yeah. fields. Yes. And even even like we're affected by like the moon. The moon, it affects the tides, and even affects us because we're 70% water, so... Right. At a very small, at least, level, we are affected by these larger celestial things that happen. So, yeah, yes, so I think goes, a rock could have some amount of electromagnetic energy. Yeah. Because it's came from but the that, But that kind of shows, it's like, it's pretty scientific that energy transfer energy... Uh, because energy cannot be created nor destroyed, like the classic yeah. rule of physics, but yeah. But see, how does that, yeah, it's, 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 how does that get Bro, to somebody's thought, though? Call scientists. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, call fucking yeah. Neil, call, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Where's Neil deGrasse Tyson's yeah. And fucking, and, and the Bill, Bill Nye the science guy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I'll ask Bill Nye. So what, okay. we're, we're trying to figure <laughs> out the meaning of life. Yeah. Name. Well, I yeah. think I just pretty much said it here yeah. a few minutes ago. Yeah, just live your life, experience yeah, your it. Until, experience you're as on he the said, roller coaster. You're on the roller coaster. Like, you know, I even like to put it like when people ask why we're here. Dude, it's due to your mom and dad having an experience. And, yes. you know, everything's one big experience. Whether you're affected by it personally or other two people are doing something and here the fuck you're Everybody here. won... Uh, everybody won. <laughs> I, don't it, I think everybody, it's the most. Everybody won one race in their life. Yes, the sperm. The that sperm was the first race. one to make it. I think it's the dumbest <laughs> question <laughs> atheists ask, just in general. It's like, think about that for a. It's just to live, minutes. man. You, that's what I think too. It's, it's just you happen to all the right occurrences happen for you to be here, so you might as well experience it. And then when you die, your energy and matter is going to go back to universe. Nothing matters, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, and also on that note, I just think that a nothing lot of, else matters. A lot of trust and, and, and I no, find God, that just metallic is it perfectly. Yeah. Every day for us something new. <laughs> Open minds for a different view. <laughs> Nothing else matters. <laughs> Thank, Nothing else matters. <laughs> Thank you, James Hetfield. I appreciate that special guest appearance. Trust right our seat me. and I'm finding you. Yeah, Every Joel day Bradley. for something to her. Yep. Yeah, he does have that voice. Now, we wanted to talk about magic. Or is, uh, we, we, still, yeah. we actually let me do a quick album review. We have some other things. So oh, we're right, so right. we're moving away from the, the science philosophy section. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, mean, you mean half the podcast? Yes. <laughs> I already knew that's what was gonna happen. More than half. I already we'll knew it in a bit. I already knew a bit. I already knew, no. I already was like, this is gonna be the deep stoner <laughs> philosophy episode. I already knew. Because <laughs> I already had a feeling like this is gonna be our like off the rails, like my uh, my my boss's boss at work, this old very sir man, he apparently listens to this podcast, and he'll listen to it because he'll ask me specific questions. He'll, he'll listen to it. He'll listen to this. He's gonna be like, "What the fuck, Trevor?" He's <laughs> he'll listen to it to talk shit to Trevor. I made I made a joke one day. Chris and I were talking about what happens when we die, and I'm like, "Well, I'll probably be in hell, and I'll probably like try out for like a vacant band in hell as like a guitarist." You'll be in Greece. Yeah. In hell. Yeah, I'll be, You'll I'll, be in the Greece. I was like, "Yeah, I'll be hell. trying out for the one of the background guitarist," and then he, no, he went into be a one hole. Of the the boys, yeah. from Danny Zuko's boys. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. summer love and having a blast. Or do like some Jersey boy shit, like, but big girls are, don't yeah. cry, don't so cry. Demons, yeah. They're, they're, they're all just doing some, some shit like that. Dance. Doing some doo wop for some what reason. What about that? Hey, what about that extreme polka? That was interesting. Oh, Me and you. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I forgot. Extreme 
Pogo. Yes, so that's actually the thing I want to talk Poga? about. Poga? No. Not Pogo. 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 Like, Pogo. Jumping up and down, down on the stick. You want to call it. Dude, that's already a thing. You the guys haven't seen stick. the videos of it? We we recently, Joel and I went to a bar like recently. 20 years. We just learned about it. It's fucking Pogo. great. It might take over skateboarding or fucking it's god damn. It's been around for so long. We didn't know. No. Fucking I didn't know. Extreme biking. Listen, this is the problem with extreme Pogoing. This guy's a nightmare. He already knew. He's, like, he He's got a problem with it. I've already <laughs> fucking been down this road. Ah, I this fucking guy. skateboarded, and that was dangerous enough. So yes. add fucking 14 to 15 feet every time you make a mistake. Yeah. 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 So, I can imagine so you have to have, have, like, a lot of these face. guys that do it go to, like, trampoline parks and, and they do <laughs> the, the safety. But, man, I've seen dudes die doing extreme pogoing just because they hit weird. It's pretty nice. I have to admit, really I'm seeing it for the first time. Hey, dude. seeing it for the first time was pretty fucking amazing. Yeah, him and I saw the bar, man. This funny bartender that just was like, man, I wonder what they're going for. If you guys really want a crazy uh, treat, go check out gymnasts doing flips. Oh. Because yeah. they have these young gymnasts that are really fucking agile, and yeah. they'll do like 45 back flips yeah. and do like a spiral at the end and shit. It's ridiculous, man. These people are straight up 45 back yeah. flips. I'm telling you, man, there's one kid out there. He's just like, doo, 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 and he does it for like two minutes almost, a minute and a half or something. Yeah, the guy that, that's crazy. The yeah. guy that won it too, yeah. he was like 40, old, like an old like punk rocker dude with like a bunch of tats. Or like I had been to like a suicidal t- tendency concert or two, and then he had this flaming pink. Pogo and he won the whole thing. It's <laughs> the best part. I don't know, yeah. All right, so real quick, Extreme Pogo. album review. I listened to the new Megadeth album <laughs> that came out uh, last week. Why don't you explain who Megadeth is? So some Megadeth might not know. Megadeth was one of the big four of American that. thrash. So we had Megadeth, Metallica, Slayer, and Anthrax. Mm. Uh, Dave Mustaine originally was one of the guitarists of um, Metallica, but. He had definitely had issues and conflicts with Metallica, he had, uh, so he had a big differences. Yes, <laughs> so he got kicked out and then formed the one of the biggest bands I'm out there. So I'm so glad he left you. too. Yes. I'm so yes. glad because we was... wouldn't we wouldn't have had Megadeth if he hadn't exactly. kicked out. Exactly, Megadeth is awesome. Well, it's like some people got to go do their own shit. And, you he, know and Dave I mean? Mustaine because was talented the enough. The group he did. dynamic isn't always for everybody, especially yeah, sure. when you're trying to do your own thing. Well, I, you know? I found out they. Do you know how they all met? They literally met in like. Right around 1980, 81, by, they all guys from the Bay Area, the San Francisco, Oakland, Bay Area. Ooh, tell me which Ooh, go. <laughs> E-40 was a young lad at that time. He was a young homie on the streets. But but all, the, all these guys... He was guys, a little 40. Yeah, he was, he was 40. many 40 at that time. He was more like a 12, he was more like a 12 ounce at that point. So make it <laughs> but, but, but Metallica, they met through newspaper ads and the classifieds, like, hey, we need a guitarist for this band. And that's how, like, Hetfield, and that's how all these guys met with their leaders from newspaper ads and needing musicians. You know, Kirk Hammett's originally from Exodus, too. Yes, Mm -hmm. yes, he is. So they had very humble beginnings of, like, a bunch of basic dudes through newspapers, classified ads, that's how they met. Gotta meet somehow. Gotta get the band together, man. Gotta get the band together. (laughs) Yeah, so this this last brand new record that came out. You get the band, you get the chicks, you get the money. All of them. (laughs) And the llamas. So this, it came out uh, a week, a week from last Friday ago, and it's called the sick, the dying, and the dead. And what's your thoughts on it? The first track, the title track, man. pretty lame, man. Yeah. Honestly, is that what it's I called? Agree with title that. track, pretty lame. But the rest <laughs> of the album was really good. Like the, which is stupid that they put the weakest track first and yeah. named it after. Like they're like, let's get this turd well, out I of think the way. That so was we like a, yeah, I, I think that song was an <laughs> intro. Yeah, like don't put the turd in the in the first, but. By the time they hit the third song, my favorite one is uh, In Hell. That was my favorite, but they had some really good ones. Dog Stroll was a little weird. In Hell, In Hell, I'm living in Hell. But yeah, the, 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 the album's like just over an hour long, and at the end, they do uh, two cover songs, which is really cool, too. They do... Um, Police Truck, the Dead Canyons cover, which is a band I love and was a song I still play. Oh, yeah. And they do a really good cover. And then they do a Sammy Hagar cover, too. Which is oh, pretty crazy. Song. Uh, in Hell? Doing yeah, Hagar. It was in, it was in Hell. Is, yeah, it was, 
it, it was like living in hell. Yeah, yeah living in hell, living which hell. is a Sammy Hagar. Living song. in America. Coast to coast, not quite. I, I, not, yeah. Yeah. not quite the James Brown. Now, if Megadeth did a James Brown cover, I'd be like, what the fuck? It's like getting on the good yeah. footer, like, sex machine. I'd be like, what's going on right now? <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. I think they would pull it off. <laughs> we just need to that. buy the album for sex that machine. much song. That's it. <laughs> Hey, Fred, take us to the bridge. What? Take There's us to the bridge. Ah. So how many Megadeths would you give the album? All right, since Megadeth is, their de- their big thing is they always do like these skeleton guys with like wearing like partial gas masks. Like partial gas masks, skeleton dude. So Are you partial- talking about Vic? Vic's, th- that's his name, Vic. Kind of like the skeleton Iron- guy you're talking kind about. Kind of like Iron Vic. Maiden has Eddie. Yeah, yeah Vic. That you got Vic. He's there. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's their mascot. I would, for Vix, <laughs> I, I would give it like I would give it like most of the record I'd give it honestly like 7 out seven of 8 7 out of 10 yeah. especially like later on the, say 7 out of 8 Seven out of ten. The the way the later the later part of the record gets better. Like the the long the further so deeper you get into it, it gets better. It's not that great. So good, as you listen. skip to like song three and then keep going and it gets okay. better. All right. A lot of yeah. more sweeping than me at a at yeah, a mill. Sweet. Like lots of sweeping. This I have guitar to just sweeping. Agree a lot of you on it. And then I like. I thought. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I like I like I sweet and then I like the last bit. Okay. Mostly. So. Like tw- uh, song thirteen, I think that was the Mars one. Oh, Mission to Mars Mission is good. Mars, that yeah, was a good one. that was a good one. Yeah, I seen uh, fucking Matt Damon in that movie. Yeah, <laughs> the Martian. Uh, the Martian. No, I oh, thought, hey, I, thought, thought <laughs> I thought the whole album was good, and I was telling Austin earlier, <laughs> what should have happened was like after Rust in Peace, this is where it should have been. Sure. It should have been dystopia, then. Uh, uh, the sick, the dying, and the dead. Yeah. Then let's just put in it countdown to extinction. It's starting to go, but it's still somewhat good. And then you got euthanasia. And I think out of the years, even after Rust in Peace, Countdown to Extinction was a great album. But beyond all that, with Risk until Dystopia happened, the only album I really yeah, liked yeah. out of his whole collection before Dystopia with Chris Adler yeah. was uh, Cryptic Writings. Euthanasia I, had a couple of good songs. I've heard Euthanasia. I haven't heard Cryptic Writings, but... It's okay, but I'd say that that was probably the last album I liked. Okay. For me, Rush in Peace was what, like, got me into thrash and shit, so, like, Oh, I that was, was like, kid. my first album I picked yeah. up. Yeah, when I was a kid, it was literally, like, a little tape. I had a fucking little, like, legit tape where it was, like, Rush in... We had stuff from Rush in Peace, Primus, and there... That was, like... I remember really getting huh. this in the 90s, and that was my fucking wake up call. Oh, yeah. I still like So Hell Far, yeah. So Good, like, So What. Yeah. That was a great before uh, Rust in Peace. Yeah, they did a fucking P-Sales set. Peace Sells, but who's mine? Like oh, that, yeah, that yeah. Peace Sells is good too, but uh, on So Far, So Good, So What. Yeah, they had a Sex Pistol right. song on there too. Yeah. They, uh, fucking remember that? I Yeah, they covered Sex Because they were one of those bands that came from a punk background too. Like they, they fused yeah. metal and punk, which is thrash. But we do got to get this wrapped up. Uh, we we definitely had a very awesome and interesting thing. Real quick, movie review, cops, TV, anything I funny? Think we talked over all that time. Okay, yeah, but we we saw some cops. This is usually our, our movie review lately is just the the TV show cops, and especially the stuff from the '90s is pretty funny. So, Are you gonna yeah. play us out, man? Yeah. I'm gonna play us out, right, guys. Well, thank you for being here, man. Yeah, oh, thanks for having us. It uh, kind of turned into yeah. just a session, but hey, no. It was yeah, good, we're all man. talking. We're all having a good time. We're smoking and drinking. It was good. Yeah. So we have episode 40. I uploaded today. So check that out, folks. Yeah. And uh, what you call it? Stuff. I ended up calling it the Peach Ring King. Yeah, is I saw that. I saw that. It's good, man. Yeah. The Peach Ring King. He's the Peach yeah. Ring King. They're yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> all right, real quick. Peach rings or Swedish fish? Uh, probably the peach rings. I don't like Swedish fish. I don't you guys. At all, actually. <laughs> right, you gonna just be that one guy to say Swedish fish. There you yeah! Go. <laughs> so, so we got two votes for Swedish fish and we got one. One. Well, so we have this ongoing thing. We're gonna start polling a lot of people. We're gonna have to poll it. We're gonna, gonna poll at least 100 I, Americans. I'm ahead once and I know he's gonna be screaming at night because of it. That's I, okay. hope, I hope that everybody eats <laughs> the fucking Swedish fish and they all get stuck in their teeth and I'm sitting there with my sweet peach rings just eating them. Yeah, like they go straight them. down, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy, <laughs> easy peasy, buddy. Wait, hold on. Before we uh, balance out, we were talking about yesterday. We were talking about your, what is it, the candy. 
what did we think? The apple ring, it was apple rings, was peach rings. Yeah, let's so keep it brief. Went over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't get the watermelon rings today. I'm sorry. I got it's busy. Okay. Getting See, man, I'm still so whatever. bad for what he does. You got, you do. got, you got <laughs> what you need to do. Yeah. I guess so. Close this out. I think so. Yeah. Play a jazz song. Fuck it. Almost at 666. Not quite. <laughs> so what should we do? Fill time, motherfucker. So why is socialism so popular? Yeah. Jesus Christ <laughs> because never it's built so good. <laughs> because it's so Jesus short. Christ never built anything that lasted. Yep. <laughs> shitty carpenter. Very shitty carpenter. All right. Here's a quick joke. How do you know that God was not against the gays? He sent his one son to get nailed by a bunch of dudes in leather that use whips. Sweet. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, take better care. you got.